The Country Mouse and the City Mouse, A Christmas Tale is certainly very sweet. I'm quite a fan of the classic Country Mouse, City Mouse story and I love festive animations. So I was really looking forward to seeing this. I don't remember it. It was released in 1993. It's not impossible that I would have seen this before, but I had no recollection and throughout watching it, it didn't trigger any memories. This was directed by Michael Sporn, written by Maxine Fisher. And we have a pretty great cast, primarily Crystal Gale as Emily and John Lithgow as Alexander, our two mice. And Emily is our country mouse. And she goes to visit her cousin Alexander, the city mouse, in New York City. And it's obviously around Christmas time. She's a bit concerned because she doesn't want to leave the children who live in the house. We have these human characters. But she goes off anyway. And when she's there, Alexander introduces her to all of the lavish, rich, wealthy, busy, chaotic aspects of Christmas that come to life in a big city like New York City and we get to see that kind of the festive holidays and everything and gift giving and expensives and she certainly has a very interesting experience she eats a very rich meal and she made a remark to Alexander that she doesn't know how he can sleep after having such a rich meal before bed and I thought if I have a rich meal or heavy food it knocks me out straight away um so that was an interesting thing that stood out to me um but I get her point everything seemed to be a little bit over the top in the city for Christmas. So she invites Alexander to come back to her to her home in the country and enjoy kind of what's left of Christmas. And only then does Alexander begin to realise that Christmas isn't about lavish meals and expensive gifts and all of the frills and thrills of living in a big city. And he he, for the first time, gets to enjoy this more quiet, calm, homely Christmas and it's really nice to see the two contrasts. I'm not saying that it definitely tears apart Christmas in a city in favour of Christmas in the country but it does champion the idea of stripping things back to basics, stepping away from the commercialism and this constant need to spend so much money at Christmas and it brings it back to things that are a bit more quiet and more family focused and it's got a nice little message. The animation quality is beautiful. It's very soft and delicate, very easy on the eye. Emily has an absolutely gorgeous little face. I thought she was absolutely adorable. So I really enjoyed it. Um, I don't know if it's something I will ever watch again. It's not going to become a Christmas tradition, but I certainly had a lot of fun watching it. It was pretty much what I expected it to be like, and it really did deliver. If you're a fan of Country Mouse and City Mouse, then A Christmas Tale is definitely a fresh interpretation of that story with a festive twist and one that I thoroughly recommend.